starting day three with coffee and a granola bar. That worked out really well yesterday. I just, I guess I need to work on my carbs. I'm on, you know, a, a relatively low carb count and I think maybe I went too low on day one. Yesterday I did this, you know, I had a granola bar for breakfast, which is totally contrary to like low carb living, but yesterday went really, really well. So we're going to try it again today. There are Atkins low carb granola bars. I just don't feel like spending the money on them right now when I already have all these ones. And like I said, yesterday went really, really well. So let's just see how it goes. I just got back from my morning walk. It was warmer today. We were up to 29 degrees. That's pretty awesome. Definitely <sighs> chilly. Luckily, no rain, no snow. So that's good. And I was perfectly comfortable as far as like being warm. My problem is my knee, my left knee, the one I've had uh, several surgeries on, it was definitely acting up. So before I go get groceries this morning, I'm going to spend some time stretching and using the foam roller and the tennis ball. And you're like, tennis ball? What are you talking about? Well, I'll show you that later. Probably not today, but I do use a tennis ball for physical therapy. You like lay on it. <laughs> On whatever, you know, if you have like a knot in your muscles or a really sore spot, you lay on the tennis ball and then as the pain eases up, then you roll it around a little bit and it has worked wonders for me and I can definitely feel when it's time to do it. Yeah, so pretty good walk. I didn't do any extra because I know I will be walking with my daughter, uh, my oldest, this afternoon or evening and so... Don't want to, you know, overdo it or be silly or anything like that or give in to the Ed. That's the nickname that people with eating disorders that we give our eating disorders, just Ed. Interesting that it ends up being male. Hmm. We'll have to, <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to unpack that one of these days. But anyway, going to go do some stretching, going to get some groceries so that we have more food options, you know, some more good fuel for this journey. Feeling pretty good, guys. Feeling, yeah, pretty good. I just got done at the dollar store and I grabbed me one of these big diet Pepsis. Ah, also drinking plenty of water, but I needed just a little pick-me-up. So grabbed one of these and now we're off to get groceries. Quick snack, banana. It's definitely not low carb, but I'm feeling really de-energized right now and I have a lot of work ahead of me. So we're gonna have a banana. Another fabulous Atkins protein shake. So it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon, evening, whatever. And the day has gotten rather stressful. I'm not going to go into it, but just personal stuff, family stuff that I'm quite stressed over, which sucks because the eating disorder just rears its ugly head and says, hey, I have coping mechanisms for your stress. I can help you. We don't want to go there, so I'm keeping myself busy with distractions, with other things. Uh, I am having to remind myself to eat today. I did not expect that my stomach would, like, shrink so quick. You know, it always does when you, you know, start eating healthier and not overeating like crazy. It shrinks. I just didn't expect it to happen so fast. So definitely having to remind myself to eat and to eat things that are going to fuel my body. I don't do good foods or bad foods or free foods or any of that. Um, that's all just bullshit to me. That all triggers like the disease and is like, ooh, hey, we've got you. Let's let's go with this. And so I can't go that route. Um, I know that works for other people, but with a disordered mind, you like mine, you just can't. It just you can't. So we go with what are the best fuels for your body. It's all about reframing and about how you think about it. So anyway, just trying to stay positive and de-stress and just keep, keep on keeping on. It has been a long, stressful day. So Yes, I am having another taco salad. I know that sounds incredibly boring, but really, they're really yummy. Tomorrow, I'm going to work on prepping some food, so that should make things a little more interesting. It is just after 8 o'clock at night, and I'm going to have another of the Atkins protein shakes, just so I don't wake up at night hungry. I definitely have not 
eaten quite enough today. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully this will so, be So like I said, it has been a rough day emotionally and just uh, family stuff. What are you going to do? So I'm still going to say this day was a success, but I promised accountability and all that kind of stuff. So you need to know <laughs> this is a mango cocktail. <laughs> This will help me get through the night. Sometimes you have to indulge in a little bit of libation. It was either this or mountains of chocolate. I decided this was the better route for me at this time. Day three. I'm still going to call it a success because with what a stressful day it has been, I did pretty well. Count those little successes. They matter.